Okay, we retain an interesting integral. This one's from the Swinby 2023 problem eight. We have the integral of natural log square root of one plus square root of one plus x dx. Okay, to get started with this, I think really what I wanna do is just try to simplify it a little bit first. One thing we can notice here, the square root here around everything, I can actually write this as a one half power. And then doing that with log properties, I can just kind of take the one half out front like that. And then just focusing on the and then from there, what I want to do is let's just try to simplify this. I don't think we really need to do this, but this is just going to help me kind of clean it up. If I do a u substitution just for this square root of 1 plus x, I'm not going to include the 1 because I think it's going to help me back substitute later. So doing this, we'll set our u equal to square root 1 plus x. Then next, I'll go ahead and take the derivative. But you know what I'll do? I think I'll rewrite it just so that we can show that we're using power rule here like this. So for du power rule, we bring the one half in front, one plus x, and this becomes minus one half. Chain rule on this is just gonna be one, and we'll have a dx on the end. But what I can do to rewrite this, let's do this as, this is a negative power, we can write this as one over two square root one plus x. But one plus, but square root one plus x is just u, so this thing I can write as one over two u dx. So let's rearrange to get a value for dx. Multiplying by 2u, we get dx is equal to 2u du. So then we'll go ahead and substitute. Now we'll have this 1 half out front here. I'll just leave it there for now. This stuff is just going to become natural log 1 plus u. Then dx is going to be just 2u du. But then I can cancel 2 with 1 half here. And then now this is actually pretty good. We're set up for integration by parts. We've got two things. I think what we'll do is we'll differentiate the natural log and we can integrate u, and we'll use the di method for this. Okay, so we have our table for the di method set up over here to the right. First, let's just integrate u. When we do that, we're gonna have u squared over two here. Then differentiating natural log one plus u, that's just gonna be one over one plus u. So part of our solution in u is gonna be right here. So let's do that as u squared natural log one plus u all over two. Then here, this is gonna become an integral uh, let's bring a half up front. So we'll write like this minus one half, and then we're gonna have u squared. I'll change the order and write this as u plus one du. Now here we have the larger power in the numerator. We could divide this out some way. I'm gonna do it kind of on the fly. What if I, if I subtract a one here, then this thing is factorable. This is the difference of two squares, but I don't wanna change it, so I'll add a one right there. But now let's take this plus one, distribute it to the minus one half, and create another integral over here with this. So then this is just gonna become minus one half and our integral is just gonna be du over u plus one. This one's gonna be easy. This one we can factor out for u squared minus one. What I wanna do with this is we wanna factor this as u plus one times u minus one. And then if we do it like this, then what's gonna happen, u plus one is gonna cancel with u plus one and then we're just integrating u minus one. But now with what we have here, all the integrals are gonna be easy. So let's see what we have first. Here integrating u, that's gonna be u squared over two. Distributing minus one half to minus one, plus one half, integrate we get plus one half u. And then here, this is gonna be minus one half. This will become natural log absolute value of u plus one. And then at this point, we wanna do some simplification, maybe combine some terms. We also need to back substitute. One thing I want to notice, this u plus one here, this is always going to be positive because our u is always positive and we add one to it. So I'm just going to drop absolute value here. And then what I want to do to combine terms, notice we've got natural log u plus one here, natural log u plus one here, we have the two. So since we have the same denominator of two in both these, we just have like one copy here. We can combine it with this one and just subtract one and write it this way and get rid of this part over here. And now I think we're ready to back substitute with our u. So first, u squared is gonna be, just drop the square root, we're gonna have one plus x minus one here. Natural log one plus our u, which is gonna be square root one plus x. Here I'll combine minus one half times a half and write this as minus one fourth. And then again, squaring this is gonna be one plus x. And then plus one half is gonna be half square root one plus x. Then just notice I can cancel a one with a minus one here. That's just a zero and we're left with this X here. Then now of course we have a plus C on the end of this. 
if you distribute in minus one, if you distribute in the minus one fourth to the one, that's just minus one fourth. That's just going to be a constant that's going to get absorbed here. So let's just get rid of that one right there, which doesn't do anything. This will just be an x. And since I'm basically out of space, let's just bring the final solution up into this area right here. So what we're going to have left for our solution is going to be x natural log one plus square root one plus x all over two minus this part, which is x over four plus this, which is square root one plus x over two, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there it is. Good one from Swinby 2023. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.